cleanly. I see all y'all in my comments talking about CJ just dropped. People thought he was dead. Let's see what he's talking about. War. War. Violence. Violence. Brutality. Oh. Pillaging. Hey, take all that motherfucking money, nigga. Killing. Watch me get this night, bro. Come on, man. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Headshot, baby. Take yeah. it. Booty. I'm a warrior. And eating this large piece of meat with absolutely no amount of seasoning. This was just straight meat in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Just straight meat. This was just another day in the books for the Viking. And on today of this episode of Black Air Force Energy Z, we will not just be diving into one, but <laughs> four of these absolute monstrosities four? on their quest to be praised in Valhalla and walk the halls of the glorious round table. W fucking intro. I loved it. So we start off with this man waking up in a wheat field and his shawty okay. is calling him from a distance. Hi. Quick. Quick. <laughs> so it looks like this is just your average run-of-the-mill peaceful looking dude but uh <laughs> he wasn't always like this because uh this man right here is one of the most feared vikings of all time oh he's that guy he's a fever dream because this man is just mopping the floor with these niggas dog is picking up multi-kill after multi-kill like i said i'm the hash linking slash linking slash oh my God. so ladies and gentlemen this is Wait, so that like what we just saw, that was like a vision or from his past. He's a demon now. He's a demon. Slash it. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our first absolute savage. Thor's. First of all, you should know bro is a demon just by his name. Nigga's name is Thor, but plural. And you gonna start to notice something too. <laughs> Two Thor. The person that has Thor at the beginning of their name is a damn demon. But anyways, after mm. bro just cleared out multiple ships with absolutely no effort, this one brave soul right here was like, oh, I gotta fight this nigga. I can't, I can't go out like no bitch. Don't bitch be no bitch. Get lit in so bro <laughs> ran out of bro. Obviously, this poor soul got washed. But dog ended one up saying tap. something in his dying breath. The dude said, uh, my, my shorty, I'm sorry. So blood had Thor's thinking. Thor's was like, hmm, you know what? Maybe this life ain't for me. So while this man is casually thinking in deep thought and gets shot with an arrow what? and is not phased, this other dude try to come and kill him. But dude threw him in the water and went from Thor to Aquaman. Nigga turned into <laughs> Jason Momoa and switched verses. So after he killed him, he hey, was like, nah, B, I can't do this no more. I got family values. So dog just straight up dipped and deserted. So 15 years end up passing and this man Thor's is living a peaceful life. Man settled down with his lovely wife. He got w a God. daughter. And his peaceful, innocent, unproblematic son named Thorfinn who will clearly the main character become a danger to society in his teenage years that's our main character right so even though Thor's has been living a peaceful life well, uh, the game kind of caught back up to that brother because all these Vikings ended up pulling up to the village and this L man's right here Floki this blockhead ass nigga you cannot tell me bro's head is not built like a Thor <laughs> So later on, Floki <laughs> start talking to Thor's. So he starts saying, man, Thor's, listen, man, I knew you was a bitch, but I ain't know you was this much of a bitch. <laughs> Nigga deserted for what? To take care of a family? Wake up on a Sunday morning and get some coaching? <laughs> Nigga thought he could live a peaceful life. Nigga, shut your blockhead ass up. Nigga, what the <laughs> fuck you want? All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, blood, uh, we're going to war. So, uh, pack your shit and, uh, let's go. That life is behind me now. Man, nigga, fuck your peaceful life and stop being a bitch. No, now get the fuck out of my village. All right, all right, all right. But, uh, you know, this village do look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. He about to burn this shit to the ground. He about to burn this shit to the ground. Any villain that says, you know what? You have a nice family. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. Your family is gone. This village do look pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. You wouldn't mind it if me and my boys decide to have a little fun and raid this motherfucker. So yeah, bro, this man Floki started blackmailing, bro. Dog said, yeah, I'm gonna raid your village and you should be happy that we ain't executing your ass right now. So Thor mm. has to go back to war. And all these people are excited they are going to war. Look at this <laughs> old ass man. They about to get fucked. 
Bro, I would never, never get drafted, bro. I promise you, I'm going to act like I'm disabled. You've been drafted. All these people are excited they are going to war. Look at this old ass man. Bro is saying, oh, yeah, son, it's been 75 long years. No. He getting shot Hell first no, day. Bro. You can't pay me to live back in this time. It got so bad that his own son was ready to go to war. Thor's had to come over to him and say, Boy, what the fuck are you doing? Dad, I I'm just getting Kratos. ready for war. I'm coming with you, aren't I? No, boy. You're too young. You don't have <laughs> enough <laughs> testosterone yet. But, Dad! Boy, listen to me. You boy. have no enemies, boy. Also, <laughs> bro, CJ, shut up. Shut up. Stop doing the Kratos thing, bro. That shit is hilarious. Listen to me. You have no enemies, boy. Also, you don't have an ounce of hair on your balls yet. What the fuck makes you think you're going to go out there and go to war? Man, this is my bullshit. Fuck you, pops. <laughs> boy, where are you going? Fuck you. <laughs> Oof. Oh, little baby ass kid. So later on, while this man Thor is on the ship heading out to the war, and Thorfinn's little Bruh. baby ass decide to jump on the what? ship, they end up pulling up in this ravine. So while they're selling in the ravine, they end up realizing, wait a minute, bro, something is awfully wrong right now. And then this oh man Thor ends up realizing, oh shit. We about it's an ambush. Hey, it's an ambush. Y'all literally, yo, y'all about to get George Washington, the Delaware River, bro. Y'all about to get fucked up. They about to have them arrows. <laughs> Bag this hoe up. So then at the top of the ravine, you see these level one bandits. And they like, I know it. Yeah, smart little motherfucker. Blood must got spidey senses. Oh, uh, so, so. The nigga thinks he's smart by going the other way. <laughs> Ugly ass <laughs> villains. Damn, fuck them. Drop that shit. So they end up dropping a bunch of debris in the ravine and trying oh. to in so they can't escape. And the man behind this jumping is not Blockhead. Blockhead. It's Blockhead. It's Blockhead. I bet money on it. I bet I suck a cock if it's not him. Trapping them in so they can't escape. And the man behind this jumping is none other than one of the goats himself. The most dastardly nigga on this round table. The level 99 bandit himself. I gotta suck a cock. I was wrong like a motherfucker. Damn, I'm sucking dick. The level 99 bandit himself. This man is a literal human embodiment of run your pockets. This I've never seen this man. So many people, he makes Bonnie and Clyde look like some damn novices. Bro, don't even need this damn. nigga Lester to play in a heist. Shit, to be honest, bro, don't even need a coup. Fuck a coup. Bro could probably solo Pacific Standard himself. So Are you serious? Up, this man Thor looks at Thorfinn and says, Boy, listen to me. You wanted to go to battle so badly, then so be it, little nigga. Okay. We about to get active in this hoe. So okay. So swords wasted no time. Dog jumped on their ship and bruh said, "Fuck a sword. I only need my fist for you level one NPCs." Mm. Lord, good God, on Bertha. That is the most demon backhand I have seen. Fuck you, nigga. And then the other band is like, you never should have come here. But it didn't matter because this nigga Thor's was dragonborn. Bro, casually slapped everybody Yee! on this ship. Then dog walked Keep up going. to the next one. Nigga said, yeah, yeah, mm. He's that guy. Look at his poor soul. Bro ran at him with his axe. Nigga said, finish him. Hiya! Oh shit, nigga boy. So as this man Thor continued to put on a clinic, oh my gosh! Jumping, I want y'all to realize he's only using his hands. They have weapons, bro. He's that guy. So as this man Thor continued to put on a clinic of anti-jumping, this man Bjorn got zooted off the shrooms and started hulking out. Bro was so high off his ass he didn't even know he was fighting his own team. But this <laughs> man Thor was not phased. Bro had his critical art ready. Bro hit him with the shin. Hold on, I might gotta watch this. Uh, uh. So after Thor's finished farming XP with all these level one niggas, he pulled up on Askeladd and was ready for the boss fight. Bro said, I challenge ye to a duel, ho ass nigga. But this man Askeladd <laughs> was like, man, motherfucker, what the fuck you think this is, a game? My nigga, I just came here to jump your ass. What the fuck you mean, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I just came here to jump your ass. Fuck you, nigga. If I pull up on somebody and they just did all that to my whole goddamn team, I'm not about to fight him one on one. I don't give a fuck who I am. Nigga, I just came here to jump your ass. What the fuck you mean, my nigga? Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know him, but uh, got a blockhead. Floki? Yeah, uh, he contracted me to jump you. I ain't sucking dick. I ain't sucking dick. 
Hey, 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 hey. It's kind of too late, though. Got a blockhead? Floki? Yeah, uh, he contracted me to jump you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Right, ass motherfucker. So yeah, bro, remember when I called that man Floki a L-mans? Yeah, bro went behind Thor's back the whole time and was setting him up. But Askeladd, Horrible. being a gentleman, decided to accept the duel. So they started fighting, and I ain't gonna lie, Askeladd Respect. held on for a bit. But that man Thor's had that freak-ass strength. The bro started oh, like that. on him and caught him slipping. So when oh. Thor's got Askeladd locked up, Askeladd start pressing him, bro, saying, Well, come on now, motherfucker, go ahead and do it. Kill me, you soft ass nigga. Oh, 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 don't tell me the legendary troll of Yom is a bitch. Oh, but this kill man, him. Thor's kill him. Like, no, taking life is for the weak. Oh, a true warrior does not need a sword. But yeah, Askeladd was like, man, fuck your philosophy, you weak ass nigga. <laughs> In front of everybody like that, sometimes you just gotta kill people. Like, I, I. <laughs> can't let nobody call me a bitch in front of everybody after i let him live now you gotta die true warrior does not need a sword but this man Askeladd was like man fuck your philosophy you weak ass nigga <laughs> motherfucker you really thought i was about to play by the motherfucking rules and follow your bitch ass pacifist ass goddamn ideology nigga motherfucker who the f you think you is gandhi nigga man <laughs> shoot that soft ass nigga Oh, I was rooting for him. Called blood lacking in the trenches. But this man Thor's was such a damn savage. Bro died while standing up. Bro said, let me flex on these hoes before I die. Mm. But with the death of a savage, another savage was born that day. One of the most demented, toxic little niggas of all time. That's a son, right? Pre MLK arc. What the fuck? The f does that mean? This little damn demon child was born. Look at how demented he looks. Okay, and okay. I was yelling, I am going to kill you niggas. I will be the last thing you ever see. So over that time, was after his dad died? Exposed to just absolute savagery. One day he just watches Askeladd and his crew just pillage an entire village. Then later on that night, Thorfinn tried to sneak him, but he ended up remembering his dad's teachings. Well, I was like, ah, I can't kill this nigga. I'll go out like a bitch. Me personally, I'm going to get my get back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get my get back. I'm going to drown that nigga in bleach. So then earlier that morning, Thorfinn challenges Askeladd to a duel. Bro was like, to avenge my get... father, fight me, old nigga. So this man Thorfinn <laughs> started attacking him, but Askeladd looked at him and said, Weave. You're too Jesus weak. Christ. <laughs> Kid. He better walk up to him like, you need more hatred. Kids, I tell you, take oh. your ass home. But nah, I ain't even gonna lie. The Damn. worst thing that happened to Thorfinn is what these trifling ass niggas did to him after the fight. They looked at him and said, well, hey, kid, you look kind of hungry. And throws this kid a damn the bone and tells him, hey, it got a little more meat on it. Clean the bone, little nigga. I would have put no, that bone in his no, asshole. Bro. That is beyond trifling. And then Thorfinn runs away and they like, well, damn, I mean, shit, we was just trying to be nice. <laughs> So after multiple <laughs> ass whoopings from Askeladd <laughs> and catching multiple bodies as a child, many years pass okay. and Thorfinn is now a fully blown, raged out menace to society. You would think that the villain would know to kill the little boy. His whole life is dedicated to killing him. So one day they're contracted to fight this one battle. Pumping out this ugly ass boy. Boy, boy, oh. like a 4-3 fat ass car titan. So earlier on, Askeladd told Thorfinn, yo, if you bring me the head of a general, I'll give you another duel. So while they fighting this battle, Thorfinn asks this dude, hey, blood, who the enemy general and shit? Oh, yeah, oh, uh, you see the guy with the feather on his head? Not enemy in. spotted. <laughs> he about to one tap on the fucker. Target acquired. So this man Thorfinn <laughs> blitzed to the front lines, jumped all the way to the wall. And pulled up on them like all oh, y'all ugly some bitches is dying today. So bro just got yeah, little ass dagger. Page. Look at this first person camera view. Bro started mm. playing Ghost Runner. Slice, slice, <laughs> intestines. <laughs> Give me your intestines. Leave. It makes a mad dash to the leader oh. and takes him cleanly. Fatality.
Yo, this man had a one man army on him. Just think about the dedication he has. I'm telling you, you gotta kill him, bro. You have to. But bro ends up forgetting, ah, shit, I need his head. And jumps off and leaves. Bro came for one purpose and one purpose only. So while Thorfinn did that, <laughs> this man Askeladd came into the battle while they were holding up these ships and running with these hoes. What? His whole crew cleared out Do you know how mad I would be to hold a fucking ship up, bro? They robbed the fat nigga. They yes, took sir. all of bro's yes, treasure. And this man Askeladd told okay. him, Hey, ugly ass boy, appreciate doing business with your ugly ass nigga. Now I know this your trash and shit, but uh, we taking this as a down payment. Then this man Thorfinn <laughs> jumped on the ship, threw his head at him, and told him, Hey, yo, nigga, rub me my fucking fade. So this man Askeladd said, all right, shit, all right. <laughs> First thing in the morning. So before Askeladd and Thorfinn had their next duel, Askeladd had to greet his hoes. Hey, how y'all fine ass ladies doing today? Let me see. Oh God, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I thank y'all very much. I love y'all too. Big birth, I see your fine ass over there with that strong ass jawline of y'all, baby girl. Give <laughs> me that fine, sexy ass boo boo. One question. Do STDs exist during this time? Because I'm smashing every single one of them. <laughs> hey, show me them titties if y'all want some new motherfucking ice in this motherfucking nigga. <laughs> hey, daddy. He getting all the pussy, bro. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, that duel with Thorfinn, yeah, uh, Brody got his ass whooped again. Again? I thought he was strong. But ladies and gentlemen, we have yet been introduced to the biggest monstrosity on this trial. Oh yes, a soul man that embodies the definition of savagery. And would you believe see. me if I told you that this man was a real person? Standing Wait, at a what? Seven, seven. Real? The ultimate terror himself. Thorkel the Tall. Look at That's his name? That's a real person? Insanity. Bro is casually chucking axes and getting quick couple kills. This nigga is a monster. What's his name? Thorkel? It's like a black ass name. I ain't gonna lie. Thorkel? That shit sound like a nigga made that name. Look at this fucking bunny. This is pure insanity. Bro is casually chucking axes and getting quick double kills. This Damn. nigga is a monster. So this man Thorkill defected to fight with the English for money, but also the real reason why he left because bro was bored because nobody could fight him. So he said, I'm just gonna go fight my own people. So the uh, animal man uh, <laughs> himself came up to him. Bro, kill he him. To try to buy him back. But while bro was trying to do these negotiations, he had to be shitting bricks. Cause look at this man come behind bro right here. He is palming his head. Bro, this man Thorkell said, Floki, hey, hey, what's going on my nigga? Did you finally come to fight me? Enough with the bullshit, you big bastard. Listen, the king has a message for you. Surrender now and uh, please come back and thy king will pay you double. Oh man, that's no fun. Uh, I think that's a hard pass. Nigga, what? Be reasonable. <laughs> reasonable? I'll be honest with you. My only reason is just have a good fight. He looks insane. He looks crazy as fuck. Look at them eyes. I think that's a hard pass. Nigga, what? Be reasonable. <laughs> reasonable? I'll be honest with you. My only reason is just have a good fight. Hell no. So tell your king to shove this boulder up his ass. He threw a boulder? Where'd he oh, get a boulder from? Oh, How? I fucking missed. So the king started saying he threw a boulder. Again. So to counter their attack, this man decided to throw logs. He was throwing logs and boulders. And their entire fleet. So this man Thorfinn decided to pull up because Askeladd oh, told him, I'll give you another duel if you go fight Thorkill. But little did Thorfinn know that he was heading to a baptism. So Thorkell told everybody, nobody lay hands on the little man. This little strawberry shortcake is mine. This nigga is fighting a boss battle. Hey, <laughs> good luck to Thorfinn, that's his name. Good luck to little bro. Let's see how it plays out. This little strawberry shortcake is mine. So this man Thorfinn started fighting the boss fight of his life. But I ain't gonna lie, he started off nice. Bro landed a nice little cut. And he had Thorkell like, wow, amazing. You cut me. I haven't been wounded in over a decade. This is the embodiment of fighting Broly in real life. Like this is literally Broly in real life, bro. You cut 
me. I haven't been wounded in over a decade. There ain't no fucking way, boy. Oh, I like you, little nigga. So Thorfinn ended up stabbing him in the hand. Okay. But it was too good to be true. Cause bro was like, I caught you. And then this is where he just started to get thrashed. No. No, please no. And slamming him on the ground repeatedly. Oh no. Nah. special. Oh my gosh. Damn, I know his bad, bro. Oh my God, bro, look at his body. That hoe is dangling. And this man Thorkell was like, hey man, wake up. We, we, we were just getting started. But this man Thorkell ended up cutting okay. his fingers. But he oh. is not phased. What is this man's pain receptors? Bro just lost two fingers and he is smiling. So Thorfinn ends up leaving and Thorkell starts telling him, hey, thanks for the fight, little man. All he wanted was a fight, bro. He could have just had a regular duel. He doing the most fight in the whole world to find an opponent. Nick, you're seven foot seven. You're an anomaly. Go sit down, bitch. You big bitch. Just lost two fingers and he is smiling. So Thorfinn ends up leaving and Thorkell starts telling him, Hey, thanks for the fight, little man. Make sure to bring your ass back. So this man Thorkell decided to continue these insane charades. Bro was tired of waiting for them at the bridge, so he went on the attack. Him and his men decided to attack the enemy. Another base, log. And he decided to hit him with his signature log smash. And he pulls up on Canute, a whole prince, and captures him. What was that man's royal guard doing? Bruh. But later on, <laughs> while Thorkell and his men are transporting Canute, they end up stopping because bro's spidey senses started tingling. So mm. this man jumped off the cart grabbed a spear and said oh, let's see you should be hiding right on there oh my Dang. god no not a hand oh oh we're done shit. no no no, no. Oh, i'm done bro shit. go ahead uh go ahead pull that seat up and uh have a great day my guy just basically hit a trick shot he just grabbed that hoe randomly chucked that bitch and he got a headshot yo i, I am sick so this whole army ends up revealing themselves and they started telling them, ye are surrounded by 2,000 troops. Surrender full kill and release thy prince and saw Conehead. This is a suicide mission, bro. And saw Conehead. But this is when bro started getting more insane and the absurdity started to spike. He releases Canute back to the army just so he to kill them? fight them and recapture him. Nah, that ain't it. And then this, this man started showing off his <laughs> A1 instigating skills. He started telling them, so since y'all got the prince back now, y'all want to start scrapping? I mean, you have nothing to worry about, and we are the enemy, right? Or are oh my pussy. pussy. Uh, oh, you know what they say? Talk your shit. Don't get let in the Valhalla. Oh, oh God. Kill this nigga. Get into the trap. That's right, pussies. Bring that ass. So this man started turning into a human meat grinder. He is cutting through these poor souls like paper. Body boy. See, that would have been me right here. This nigga right here would have been me. That would be me. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Bitches don't get let in the Valhalla. Ooh, oh, God. Kill this nigga. That's right, pussies. Bring that ass. So this man started turning into a human meat grinder. He is cutting through these poor souls like paper. Body parts are flying everywhere. Jesus, I'm gonna have a terrible time having to censor this. So the Thorkell caught like a hundred body kill streak. Askeladd and his men end up third partying. Cause earlier on, this man got intel that they was moving Canute. So after he mm. decapitated the messenger, so he could take the prince and get all the reward money. Bro oh my gosh. A whole forest fire sent Thorfinn in to snag the prince to take okay. his ass to snag the reward money. So after Askeladd Smart. pulled off that stunt, they are now on the run from Thorkell because everybody wants the prince. These niggas are playing oddball. So while <laughs> Askeladd and his crew are on the run, they end up doing some uh inhumane shit. Take for example, they end up raiding this one village in the cold, harsh winter. Now keep okay. in mind, these people are minding their damn business. He's about to leave them outside in the winter to catch frostbite with no medicine. Yeah, they're going to die. These people are minding their damn business. They just chilling, saying grace, and getting ready to grub. These niggas busting this bitch. Sends this lady to the shadow realm. They take all of their food, grab all the villagers, get them together, and look at this poor man. 
Gross no. Head. Please, sir. Please. No, don't, don't take all our food. How are we going to survive the winter? And Askeladd told them, man, you'll be fine. Matter of fact, you won't ever have to worry about surviving another winter ever again. You about to kill them? And they killed all of them. Every single last villager. Why? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, he snuck Conehead. But anyways, later on, Thorkell ends up catching up. And Dog was wasting no time. He said, you know what? Let me hit another trick shot for my montage. So this man loads up every single bit of testosterone in his body and shuts that hole and hits a quad collect. I don't know who to root for. I don't know if I should root for a goddamn Thorkell, Thorfinn. I don't know. Everybody has their own little problems. They just killed a whole village for no reason. And this nigga over here throwing spears at people and getting four time kills and shit. So after Thorkell just pulled off one of the most monstrous trick shots of all time, Askeladd's men are done. They don't even want to continue the mission no more. They are That's turning me. on him. Them niggas said, betrayal because they like nah bro <laughs> give us the prince because uh, uh we're giving them the thorkel so this man Askeladd was like uh -huh. so, so y'all just want to turn on me now huh me <laughs> big homie Askeladd huh well, you know what <laughs> suck my dick mm -hmm. yeah so all hell just breaks uh, loose he, I like he violence starts going wild look at this tomahawk though let me see let me see about the blow <laughs> So about five minutes pass, and Askeladd is on his last legs, but the man has went on a rampage. But he is still going buck He's wild. still he going. This man in two. But then they ended up shooting arrows at him. They said, we're going to do you just like we did Thor's. But when they about to kill him, Thorkel Thor ends Finn. up pulling up. Oh, Thorkel. So Askeladd and his men start trying to reason with Thorkel. But this Where's Thor Finn at? Thor Kale about to kill everybody. He don't go f what side you want. He just <laughs> he's just there for the violence. Askeladd and his men start trying to reason with Thor Kale, but this man wasn't trying to hear any of that. So he went over to Askeladd and said, uh. mm, "You look strong. I like you." All righty, I've made my decision. Kill everyone except for Askeladd. So they start fighting everybody, <laughs> and this bozo right here walks up to Thor Kale and says, "Wait, please reconsider." But this man handed him an axe and said, here you go, fight like a man, don't go outside. And he had this man so shook, he fried his brain. Well, what the hell, boy? The nigga is not working up there anymore. So while the battle is getting to its climax, Thorfinn blazes into the fray on his steed. Bro said, I am ready for phase two of this boss fight. So Thorkell decided to bump up his insanity meter to the highest. This nigga, Shoryuken the horse. No, 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 bro. Peter! I, I, I've seen the most from this man. From using logs as weapons, throwing spears and getting collaterals, and now uppercutting a horse. This man is truly an anomaly to mankind. So I said that. I said that, y'all. And people want to fight against him. Nigga, I would have gave up as soon as you just said seven feet tall. All the fighting just stops because everybody wants to witness this duel. This is like a school fight at this point, except nobody has their phone out and is recording at terrible ass angles. So they start <laughs> fighting, and it looks like Thorfinn has maxed out his evading skills. So Thorkill told Thorfinn, Wow, you got some balls, kid. You must have got that from your father. And this man Thorfinn's like, wait, what the hell do you Aww. mean by that? Then bro says, oh yeah, uh, I'm your uncle. But what the hell, boy? What the <laughs> fuck? Why he just say that now? We just now finding out that's big unk? Bro, this man Thorfinn life is horrible. That's his uncle? It all makes sense now. Then bro says, oh yeah, uh, I'm your uncle. But what the hell, boy? So everybody started laughing at Thorfinn, but Thorkill plays a whack a with this man's head and says, All right, now y'all best shut the fuck up. Nephew got my balls in y'all. Now come get this pain, nephew. And bruh rips off his coat in this cold ass weather. This motherfucker is crazy. So Thorfinn actually started cutting him mm. off. He was pulling off a mirror, Okay. But it was too good to be true. Because oh. bro made a smoke screen and Damn. this nigga to fall hollow. That's just that's just good battle IQ right there, bro. You can't stop that. Who made a smoke screen and kicked this nigga to fall hollow? 
Bro said, how's the view, nephew? And then look at him fall, bro. Oh, Lord. Well, Thorfinn gets up trying to fight again. But well, Thorkell's like, hey, nephew, check that arm, though. And Bro's arm is doing a negative 90 degree angle. So this man, Askeladd, had to start coaching him up. Bro said, get your shit together, little nigga. You better not go out let no bitch, boy. So Thorkell continues to go crazy. But Askeladd told Thorfinn, this monster actually has a weak spot, but it'll only show up for a moment. So Thorfinn had to start playing possum to get mm. Thorkell to come up to him to about to finish him off. So is this weak spot his dick? Because that's the only shit I could think of, bro. This man is just straight. <laughs> to come up to him to about to finish him off so Askeladd could blind him for just a second for Thorfinn to land a critical hit on this man's chinny chin chin to okay. actually knock him down. And That's Thorfinn it? And jumps on him and starts to gouge out his eye. This oh. is a fucking miracle. That's but your uncle. Men started trying to hey, him, that's, not that's not that's not fair. That Don't you dare embarrass me like this. He went up to his second command and said, what the fuck, bro? Why, why, why you do that? And bro said, listen, my nigga, I'm trying to save your legacy. What you think people gonna think when they heard your big ass got knocked down by that little nigga, huh? But that's his nephew. It's Viking season, man. Your dream is to die by someone stronger than you. That's your nephew, the son of the legendary black nigga that stood up and died. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep this shit going. He went up to his second command and said, what the fuck, bro? Why, why, why you do that? And bro said, listen, my nigga, I'm trying to save your legacy. What you think people gonna think when they heard your big ass got knocked down by that little nigga, huh? So yeah, bro, Thorkell had to take his first L in like years. And now we finally get to Askeladd and Thorfinn's last duel. And how did this plan out? Right, uh, Thorfinn gets his ass whooped for every him. single he time. time. Bro is the baby. The nigga has not changed his flow. This man Askeladd was bored. It was like, damn, little nigga, learn some new moves. I can speed run you at this point. So now we get this to Askeladd's last hoorah. In the moment that cemented him as one of the greatest menaces to society of all time, this man gets invited to a party by the King of Denmark for okay. helping out Canute. You know what this nigga Askeladd did? Bro, just. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, this anime is on timing, bro. He just decapitated the King of Denmark and proclaim that he's the descendant of King Arthur. But I ain't gonna lie, I'll do the same thing. He was talking nasty about his mama. And then he just oh, went nah. on rampage. He was yeah. killing everybody. Yeah. Said, come on, okay. come on, nigga. Bro said, fuck Game of Thrones. I'm about to make the Raider Wedding 2.0. So then Canute <laughs> finally put him down because they had a plan to, you know, take out the king and everything. But obviously this ain't sit well with Thorfinn because that man was- Because he wanted to kill him. Like, he was my kill, you son, bitch. But that man, Askeladd, went out like a damn goat man said live your damn. life little nigga go on a redemption arc or something and uh after that that man thorfinn went from yb to mlk hey stop the violence mm. hey look at me i could promise you it's a bigger side of life <laughs> <laughs> fuck bro he ain't gonna kill him 